Flynn, Flynn's death was a blow from which he never recovered. It was as though without his mother, he no longer had the will to live. Hunched as miserable and miserable, he sat on a bank of the stream near his mother's body. From time to time, he approached her, searching it seemed for a sign of life. He stared at her, then pulled out her hand as though begging her to groom him, to comfort him comfort him as she had got done throughout his life. The flow's body lay motionless, cold and dead. Finally Flint moved away, his depression worsened. He ate almost nothing. He stayed mostly alone and hid in this state of grief he fell sick. This often happens when he are very miserable because then the body's defenses against the disease are weakened. We try to help Flynn in his sick sickness and miser misery. We took him food and stayed with him so that he would not feel utterly alone. But nothing did any good. And about three weeks weeks after Flo died, Flynn died too. It seems that because Flo had been too old to force the spoiled Flynn to become independent. He simply couldn't face life with her, without her. Of course, Fifi Fi had tried to help her young brother, but by then she had an infant of her own. When Flynn refused to move away from the place where Flo had died, Fifi Fi had to leave him so she could feed herself and her one-year-old son Freud. Freud. There are good chimpanzee mothers and bad chimpanzee mothers. Fi Fi was a wonderful mother, just as Flo had been a wonderful mother until she got too old to cope. Fi Fi was affectionate and protective tolerant and playful. Some of her behavior was inherited or instinct, instinctive. Some she had learned from watching Flo caring for Flint and Flame. Some she had acquired by practice from the days when she had been allowed to care for her young siblings and of course she had watched her mothers and often carried and groomed their infants too. When Fru Fruid was five years old, his brother Frodo was born. Fruid was absolutely fascinated and played with the baby and carried him just as just as Fi Fi had done with her little brother twelve years before. Fade watched everything that big brother Fruit did uh, and often tried to do the same himself because he was always trying to copy Fruit. Frado became very precautious precocious when Frado was five years old, Fi Fi gave birth to a to a daughter, Fanny. Frodo was fascinated by Fanny just as Fruit had been with him. But Frodo was often very rough with his little sister, the first sign of the bully that he would become when he was older. 
Luckily, Fanny was a th the little thing and never seemed to find seemed to mind when Frodo dragged her or dropped her from a tree. She was just four year four and a half years old when when sister Falls Falls Flosy came along and of course she loved to play with and helped carry for baby through through it by the through it by then was a fully adult male, but he still spent time with his his family, and often played gently with both of his small sisters.